Hey fellow world tourists, it's Angry Turtle coming back with yet another video. This time I was thinking about doing something interesting. I have this idea and decided to implement it and compare compact bow with a lower action rifle as this is like an iconic sniper and iconic sniper versus a compound bow can be quite interesting. And first, let me go into stat page. And here why it's interesting, as you can see, explosive compound bow have 132 damage stated and explosive lower action, both anti-armor, 126, then it's just slightly lower. Well, it's a little bit of a surprise. I was expecting it to be slightly higher, but it is slightly lower. In the same time as well, I have a bow modify with plasma arrows, as those seems to be the best for stealth approach. And in that case, we have a total of 138 damage. Then that's even slightly more. And no, I don't have at this moment equipped any rifleman or any bow related perks. I will show you. I just have one rank of concentrated fire under perception as I don't want it to affect the damage numbers and I don't have the Molesian expert equipped. There is an edge rage to scene, but I will be testing at full health then. This will not affect anything. Now, of course, there is a lot of differences, like different modifications for those weapons, different legendary effects that you can get on the bow versus what you can get on lower action rifle. And to be honest, I will start from that. Like in case of lower action rifle, explosive is a legendary effect. It's not available for the bow. Then you should know that for the bow, it's a modification for the arrow. And in here, really like there is no great second stars apart from I hit I think VATS hit chance will be great, but I don't have one with that. Then 33% VATS hit chance will be probably the best for a bow and for the rifle, and you can get it on both. Unfortunately, in case of the bow, apart from this VATS hit chance, <laughs> almost always you will get limb damage. And there's like no other effects you can roll on it than limb damage it is for me. I have all my bows with limb damage. I just hope the 33% VATS hit chance is not back and it's still dropping. But most of my bows have limb damage and that's it. But anyway, let's start the comparison. Oh, and of course, if you want, you will be able to equip a lower action with a scope, what makes it awesome for sniping, but in the same time, uh, keep in mind the range. If enemy is far, when you will actually need to use a scope, he's probably outside the range and he will doing half of the stated damage. Then that's what to keep in mind. We'll test on enemies as well. But first, very important thing, how they perform in VATS and VATS accuracy. And for that reason, I have Mitzi sitting there on the roof. And we start with a bow. You can see for the head, I have 63% for a torso, 95%. And now I'm not moving anywhere. I'm just swapping to my lower action rifle. And the same test for the head 49%, for the torso still 95. Then hit chance is actually way higher with a compound bow compared to a rifle. What's a surprise? I was expecting it will be about the same, but it is not. And uh, why is that? I think the VATS accuracy is mainly affected by the range stated on the weapon card. Therefore, bow almost doubles the range of the lower action rifle. And that's how it's getting so way better in VATS. Now, another, another dry test before we start shooting enemies. How fast can we shoot five times with a lower action rifle? We just shoot straight and we will include the reload as bow do not have a reload, but you draw every single arrow. Therefore, we shoot five times and we count the time needed before I will be able to shoot the six bullet. Then when I will be able to shoot the six bullet time stops. Then let's see how long it will take for five shots. Let's go. I reloaded only one bullet and it's supposed to be slightly longer than that, but it's about six seconds then. Okay, let's leave it at that. As forgot that lever action can actually reload only one bullet. But here we go, about six seconds. Now, how fast can I shoot five times with a bow? Uh, let's see. Uh, I will start time when I start drawing the arrow. Uh, 
Okay, that was about twice as long. Then definitely bow is slower firing weapon, but in case of a sniper approach, it's not the most important. The question is how well they do versus actual enemies now. And for the damage test, we will unequip adrenaline because this will affect our damage from enemy to enemy. And we start with rifleman perks. Okay, now it's about fair. We have all the cards max out that will increase our damage with rifles. And let's start with the lower action rifle then. And I do have equip a reflex sight, therefore aiming down the scope is not perfect and we were not able to one shot the doggo. Uh, in VATS it will be much better if we go for the head. Uh, we actually killed him in one shot. That's a kind of surprise. I was expecting him to survive. Uh, let's see more. Okay, let's see. What are the level? They level 75 and 60. Yeah, that's about the standard mix. Uh, let's see. Oh, one shot. And this one survived. Yeah, I don't know why the inconsistency is in here. Level 75. Survived. Oh, minigun guy. He's actually dangerous when you are squishy. Okay, let's see. One, two shots. That's not bad. Level 60 guy. Survived now. Yeah, there is some inconsistency with the damage. I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, I don't have taken guard for the team, of course, and I'm not on the team. Then I have no clue what was causing inconsistency in damage. Maybe just how explosion is registering. Okay, let's see this guy level 60. Now he died in one. Yeah, it's like logic does not apply in this game sometimes. Then you just need to test it to see how well something is actually performing. In case of the bow, we'll test both bows, like uh, explosive and one with plasma arrows. And it's not too much sniping from the range, as this in this game, we don't actually have too many situations when you need to snipe from afar. Then we are just shooting rather up close, whatever the weapon is. But we have some ability to snipe as well. Okay, let's see now, with a little bit farther away, if we target this doggo, yeah, we can snipe in VATS. If he's very far, if I go for the critical, uh, he's out of range. I cannot one-shot him, but second one took him down. And this one died in one. Yeah, there are some surprises. You can snipe it. You can snipe with it. You can use VATS with quite a range. And as well, of course, you can put scope if you choose so. To be a true sniper, but you cannot put a scope on a bow, then I'm testing with reflex sight instead. Okay, and time for a perk swap. Okay, all the archer perk jumping in. Master archer lost in here. Yeah, that's the only change. The remaining perks stays. And we keep testing with full health, which is heal up just in case to be 100% full health. And we are starting with explosive bow. Uh, let's see our sniping ability. Is out of range. That was a miss. Now we hit, and another hit. It's showing very high damage numbers, higher than lower action rifle, but so far no one-shot kills. Yep, they are surviving. Somehow, lower action is able to pull some hidden extra damage that we cannot get here with a bow. Like, as you can see, they are surviving, and yeah, this one died, but he was already damaged. Okay, let's see sniping with a critical. We need to find uh, some super mutant a little bit farther away. And we try to put a critical into him. Ah, this one is quite far. Similar situation like was over there. Critical. And somehow we didn't do any damage. Yeah, tough luck, I guess. And second arrow actually put him down. Then uh, my bet is the critical actually triggered on a second arrow. As our first arrow cannot put down any one of them. Level 60 doggo? Okay, that's the highest we can put down in one arrow. Level 100 doggo? Probably not. Yeah, we have those explosions, but the damage is not there. Even though on the people we have higher damage than lower action, in practice we are doing slightly lower. Okay, let's try to uh, swap the bow for a plasma one. And let's see if now we'll be doing any better. Okay, plasma to the head, that's level 100. That was a miss. 
Miss again. Can we have a hit? Yes. Level 100 survived, but that's to be expected. Level 60. Okay, let's see. Oh, level 60 went down. Then lower damage, but they are going down with a plasma arrow tip. Then it seems like it's the way to go to compare them. The explosions are just not so well done. Level 100 surviving. That's okay. And that miss was not okay. Maybe it's worth to mention here that arrows are slightly more silent than rifles. That's not a huge difference, but there is a difference. I was testing it in the past and there is a difference. Somehow this guy survived. Okay, let's try to snipe from quite afar and we use a critical again. See the critical, can we hit? Yes, and kill. Then range advantage is in here, as when you were when we were sniping with lower action with a critical, we are not able to put them down in one shot, no matter what, as the damage falloff is basically too great. In case of this bow, the damage followed is not happening, as enemies are not as far. They will need to be much farther away. 300 range is decent and way more sightable for sniping than 180 that we have with lower action rifle. Okay, we have one more guy far away. Let's test the bow without critical now at its level 100. Okay, if we can get a hit, we can get a hit. Yeah, that's nice damage. There is no damage fall off from this range where lower action will probably have the damage fall off. Can we have the doggo that was walking over there? We try to keep the same distance. Oh, there's the doggo. Let's see now. Lower action. Yeah, there is way less damage with lower action from this range. It was way less damage. It's already too far for lower action rifle. It's not too far for a compound bow. That's the main difference. Then time for the summary. Surprisingly, explosive compound bow, even though the damage listed in the peep boy was higher than lower action explosive, is doing less damage than lower action. In the same time, the compound bow with energy damage from the plasma arrows is doing slightly more damage than lower action, as well lower action was not very consistent. There was jumping in damage up and down that I cannot explain at this moment. If you know, of course, let me know. And yeah, the lower action itself, it's a great sniper. You can put scope on it, but scope will increase VAT's cost and it's not really so important for me as, as you can see, if enemy is as far as this balcony over there, that you can snipe it with reflex sight. Although when I'm invisible, I cannot see the reflex sight. But if not that, if I change to third person, I can snipe from in here. I can see my cross sight and I can snipe from in here as well as with the scope. Then the scope is not necessary for me, although possible, not possible on the bows. If I have a bow, the only way to snipe is the crosshair. There is no way to put the scope. Although the accuracy is good, you still need to count that the arrow will go down. If I shoot over there, see that arrow going below, but it's accurate enough to actually use an extra range compensate for that. But the verdict, final verdict is very hard. I think compound bow is slightly better for sniping thanks to VAT's accuracy and extra range. Although in the same time, lower action will be able to pull higher, higher DPS if enemies are closer then it's up to you what you want to choose in your build. If you are thinking against those two compound bow and lower action rifle, hunting rifle will be even weaker on the comparison. And yes, I know we have a Gauss rifle and this will be more powerful. Uh, there is no questions. I was using in some of my builds Gauss rifle and it's way more powerful than anything else that you can use for sniping. But still, there is no extra range, the best range is with compound bow. And that's what I wanted to showcase in this video. I was thinking it would be really interesting to see how those two compare. I hope you enjoyed that. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.